the best way to get better at programming is to practice. And in this example, what we're going to do is learn how to use namespaces. As always, these files and sample starting files are available for download from a link provided in the description. We'll pause for a second so you can download it and try it on your own, or you can simply continue and follow along with us. All right, so let's get started. What do we mean when we talk about namespace? What happens if I have external libraries and they might have competing commands? Well, my ability to choose a namespace lets me know which one of those is the correct one to use. And that's what STD is. STD is just short for standard. And so we say standard colon colon. But if I'm only using that one namespace, it becomes a bit redundant. Luckily, there's an easy way around that. Outside of my functions, and I usually put it way up at my top just to make it easy to work with. I'm going to say using namespace std, and I put a semicolon. Now, wherever I have that std colon colon, I can simply remove it. And you'll notice it does not give me any errors. If I comment out this using namespace standard, simply by using just two forward slashes, you're going to notice that when I click off of that line, Visual Studio comes up and says, oh, wait a second, I don't know what these C out and these indel commands are. That's because they're part of that namespace standard. So I have to leave that uncommented. And when I do it, you notice it cleans itself up right away. I'm going to save this real quick and compile, and you notice, boom, up comes Hello World, just as it did with our previous examples. If you like this example and want to continue to learn more about C++, please look at other examples in this series and follow along, including our next videos where we go just a little bit further.